Hello, and welcome to the Center for Spiritual Living Sarasota. We're here to support you in finding a personal relationship with the God of your understanding and discovering what you already know. My name is Kathleen Frankert. I'm a licensed spiritual practitioner and counselor here at the center. And I greet you today with namaste. Namaste is the Sanskrit word that means the divinity in me recognizes and honors the divinity in you. And today it is also my honor to wish all fathers and father figures a very happy Father's Day from the Center for Spiritual Living Sarasota. It's been said that a father is someone you look up to no matter how tall you grow, or that fathers carry pictures where their money used to be. And one of my favorites is, a father is neither an anchor to hold us back nor a sail to take us there, but a guiding light whose love shows us the way. So to all the dads, thank you for the love, wisdom, guidance, and support you bring every day to your families, your community, and to the world. Each week we begin our time together by affirming our vision and mission statements. I invite you to join in reading them with me. Our vision is empowering spiritual growth as a loving, inclusive worldwide community. And this is our mission. We teach science of mind principles and other life affirming spiritual truths. We explore, we learn, we grow, we connect, honoring all paths to God. We offer in person and online weekly services, classes, workshops, affirmative prayer support, and other spiritual tools. We create opportunities for joyful social connection, community outreach, and service. We celebrate the awakening of our innate spiritual magnificence. Now I invite you to prepare for our time of prayer and meditation. Connect with the breath and allow your eyes to close as our music director, Bob Teasdale, shares a chant by Christy Snow, I am opening. We are opening, we are opening 
Turning within, I open to a renewed awareness of an infinite source for good in life. Call it nature, the universe, God, spirit, the one, by whatever name, I am open to its limitless love, joy, wholeness, wisdom, and peace. As I know this for me, I know it for all hearing these words, for everyone, everywhere. Centered in my heart space, I ask, what am I open to? Am I open to understanding and wisdom? Am I open to love and compassion? Am I open to peace and comfort? Am I open to balance and perfect health? I allow my thoughts to be filled with possibility and receptivity of whatever good I seek now. I open my thinking to new vistas and ideas that exist in the pure potentiality of this infinite source. I let loose old thoughts of doubt, worry, or concern from the past. In this present moment, in the opening created here and now, I know something new arises. Something wonderful becomes available as I accept this inspiration and influx of good. Recognizing that I am an expression of spirit seeking to know more of itself, I celebrate and accept this newness of my life experience. For I know it is all good, it is all God, and it is for me. For this realization for me and for all hearing these words, I am so grateful. In full faith and expectancy of this perfect intelligence now unfolding, I declare this to be so, and so it is. Today, our founding minister and spiritual director, Reverend Karen Wolfson, is with us. This month, she has been presenting a multi-part series of talks entitled, What's It All About? Today, she'll present part three. If you would like to catch up and see parts one and two, please check out our CSL Sarasota YouTube channel or the video section of our Facebook page. Before we hear from Reverend Karen, it's my pleasure to again introduce Bob Teasdale to present his inspiring original song entitled, Learn How to Dream. Welcome, Bob. If your life is like a nightmare, like a bad and endless dream And everywhere you go, it's like you're swimming upstream The answer to your problem lies in something unseen Cause the secret is to learn how to dream Now a dream can be your keeper or a dream can set you free But you are today is all you dreamed yourself to be And you can choose right now the way it's gonna be Cause the secret is to learn how to dream
Take it easy And don't worry Cause worry's just a waste of time Believe that the best will happen And keep a picture of it in your mind All the time You can dream your way to fortune You can dream your way to ruin So when you start to dream And just be careful what you're doing And use your imagination Before it uses you Cause the answer is to learn how to dream Tell it like it is Tell it how it's gonna be Keep your mind on your destination Till you see what your dreams can see Yeah, yeah, yeah Well, you can dream your way to fortune You can dream your way to ruin And when you start to dreaming Just be careful what you're doing And use your imagination Before it uses you For the answer is to learn how to dream Well, it's easy when you learn how to dream Yeah, the secret is to learn how to dream. Oh, thank you, Bob, for another one of your many original songs. What a talent. We're so blessed by your creativity. And this one, Learn How to Dream. You know, I asked Bob to share that song with you and me today because, well, listen to those words again. The answer to your problem lies in something unseen. The secret is to learn how to dream. Believe the best will happen. Keep a picture of it in your mind. Tell it how it's going to be. Keep your eye on your destination till till you see what your dream can see. Well, those words echo today's theme, which is part three, what it does. Okay, I'm jumping, I'm jumping right into the middle of things, so here's a quick recap. A recap of the first two parts of this four-part June series titled, What's It All About? At the end of May, as you know, we witnessed reports of epic violence occurring in our country, heartbreaking. And those, in addition to our experiencing all the pain and hatred and conflict and suffering that we see in our world, it, it just seems and seemed and it seems that among people everywhere it was a profound sense of sheer exhaustion mentally, physically, and yes, even spiritually. And I have felt that too. Where to turn? Where to turn? Something in me had just wanted to go home, metaphorically, of course, but where was home? Well, gradually I realized what I know deep inside, that, that there was only one place to turn, to rest, to seek guidance, and it was to God, to my higher power, to that infinite source of indescribable peace and wisdom and strength and love to that dimension beyond arguments and opinions, righteous pontificating, you know what I mean, where we, where we know we are in a relationship with something greater, an energy that supports our aliveness through all the ups and downs of life's experiences, that enables us to have a higher view, to see promise and possibility despite and beyond agonizing and seemingly hopeless appearances. In short, a feeling of home 
or in a word? God. That's right, God. Now, <clears throat> you may have your own terminology and verbiage for that, and, and that's wonderful, because you hear us say each Sunday, here you can find a personal relationship with the God of your understanding, and by whatever name you call it. So, as my thoughts turned to planning these messages for the month of June, it was so clear. Finding my way back home meant getting back to basics. The foundation, the grounding provided by the science of mind principles we teach. And so, I've titled these June messages, What's It All About? And before I go on with that, let's check in with each other. I'm so happy knowing you're out there. We do have each other, and that means so much. How are you doing? Let's continue to stay in touch as 2022 is unfolding. Know that I continue to affirm for you a year, still, no matter what, a year of vibrant wonder. And to you, our team of financial contributors, you are a wonder. You're absolutely an essential part of all that makes it possible for us to share this message, to share our caring and our connection. Thank you so much. Since the 1980s, when I lived and was a minister in Atlanta, I had a dear friend, very dear friend, a confidant and a colleague, Reverend Jay Robbins, who made his transition a few years ago. Well, before becoming a minister, Reverend Jay had a very successful career in real estate, and before that, he did a lot of work in live theater. So drawing on that experience, when he was well into his ministry, he wrote this piece that I'm going to share with you, which pretty much sums up the essence of my message today. So here it is. Take it as it was written just for you. <laughs> From our beloved Reverend J. Robbins. What if the world's most powerful producer came to you and said, I'm mounting my biggest production and you are in it. Now there will be no auditions. I know what you can do and I like your work. There are no bit parts or cameos in this play. Every role is a leading role and every part is a supportive part. Every appearance, a special appearance. Now, this is a hugely successful production with road companies all over the universe. Everybody will star in my play, whether they want to or not. So why not make the most of it? So yes, you are a star and sweetheart, I'm behind you 100%. Now, there are a few things you should remember. And they're not negotiable, so don't send your agent around to me. I deal only with principles. There is no script. The play is not yet written. There will be no rehearsal. And we'll do this thing one time. There will be no director, because you will direct yourself. And you know everything you need to know in order to do this. Don't worry about a script, you'll know what to say. And if you don't know what to say, just be quiet and listen, because I'm there. My casting, as always, is pure genius. Now, you may choose the character that you wish to be and create the role as you go along. And remember, if your character is not performing as you wish, you may rewrite the role any way you want to. So long as your character doesn't weaken the other characters in the play. Now, I urge you to concentrate not on acting like, but on being the character that you choose to create. And whatever you do, maintain the integrity of your character. Speak clearly and don't keep bumping into the furniture or trying to redo the sets because you'll only hurt yourself and anyway, I designed the set, and it works perfectly. Now, you don't have to worry about the other cast members. You'll find them to be as good as you find yourself to be. And there will be no reviews or critiques from me. You know me. I like everything I see. 
If you want a review, you'll have to write it yourself, but for my sake, don't let someone else write it. Now, during our run, you may present yourself with every award you think you deserve, every rec recognition that you want. There are plenty, so help yourself. You will also decide what your compensation is to be for this role, so just let me know. Oh yes, there are no understudies, and there's no time off. No one else but you can play the part that you create, so be sure that you're comfortable with the character and keep it focused. It may or may not be a long run, but it'll be the longest run you'll ever have. And you won't like this, but I have to tell you, there's no stage manager, so if you make a big mess, you have to clean it up yourself. Oh, by the way, the title of my play, I call it your life and the curtain in case you haven't noticed has already gone up and you are on in fact i've been giving you your cues for years now the only prop you get to use is your opening night gift don't you remember the one i gave you when we first opened the day you were born your ability to think use it it works if you do so get out there and break a leg, kiddo, and remember, I love you. Thank you, Jay. So what's it all about? Well, Dr. Ernest Holmes, the architect of this teaching called Religious Science, summed it all, summed it all up in the first four chapters of the textbook. The thing itself, the way it works, what it does, and how to use it. You might not be able to tell by those titles, uh, but these four chapters are about God and our relationship to God, to the universe, to life, to that which is beyond definition. Now, why not include God in the titles? Well, beginning with the thing itself, Ernest Holmes was aware of the dogma, the superstition, and often limited ideas around the word God. So he used different terminology in order to open people's awareness of this infinite loving energy available to all. So part one was the first chapter, part one of this series was the first chapter, the thing itself, God. Part two was the way it works, that is the way God works. And today part three is what it does or what God does. Simply put, God responds. That's right, it responds. Ernest Holmes, again, the architect of our philosophy, our teaching, said there is a power for good in the universe greater than you are, and you can use it. So how can we use this power? Well, if you were listening to what I read earlier by Reverend Jay, we use this power by means of our thoughts our deepest beliefs and feelings, our focused attention and intentions, as you heard in Jay's piece. As Ernest Holmes expressed it, what your mind can conceive and believe, you can achieve. Instead of I'll believe it when I see it, you will see it when you believe it. Thomas Trower, the early New Thought teacher, said it this way. He said, we live in the midst of a natural law that creates material conditions which are exact reflections of our thoughts. Wow, we live in um, the midst of a natural law that creates material conditions which are exact reflections of our thoughts. Yes, every thought generates an energetically creative process, but most thoughts that we have fall by the wayside. The ones that manifest in results are those that are energized by our focused attention, our interest, and our deep feeling. As in Bob's song, learn how to dream. The answer to your problem lies in something unseen. The secret is to learn how to dream. Believe the best will happen. Keep a picture of it in your mind. Tell it how it's going to be. Keep your eye on your destination till you see what your dream can see. So just to recap, 
The nature of God, the infinite, the universe, the thing itself is love. God is love and it responds to us. And as love, it is available to give lavishly and abundantly to its creation, to you and me. But it's up to us to, well, as the Bible says, ask and you shall receive. Actually, it says, ask believing you have received and you shall receive. And that's what Holmes meant by you can use this power. It responds to your desires and intentions without any argument. The universe, God, always says yes. Now, I love the way Wayne Dyer expressed this. It's a great practice to take into your week. He said, impress upon the universal mind the object of your desire and then calmly proceed to act upon that picture, allowing the greater intelligence to work through you to produce the results. Stay alert for any small circumstance that indicates the first sprouting of the seed that you have planted in universal mind and then allow it to form in your life as a growing manifestation. Well, this may bring up some questions for you, does it? Next week, part four, we'll get right to where the rubber meets the road then. We will be talking about how to use this and it will answer, I'm quite sure, a lot of your questions. Just how to use this infinite power every day in every aspect of your life. And this coming week, take with you the words of this that you're going to hear from Bob, another of his original songs, Free Will, You've Got No Choice. <laughs> Enjoy that one this week. Have a wonderful week. See you for part four. God gave us the flowers And God gave us the trees And God gave us the power To do as we please Anything in the world is ours If we believe it And to top it all Take it or leave it We've got free will Free will We've got free will We've got no choice we got no choice We could say yes Or we could say no It's up to us Which way we go We got rivers to cross And mountains to climb And people to love Till the end of time Anything in the world is ours If we believe it And to top it all off
choice Got no choice Now there's a fork in the road A bend in the stream There's more up to us Than anyone dreams We got free Thanks, Bob. We are so grateful for your many talents you share with us every week. And Reverend Karen, this series has been so inspiring. We look forward to hearing the fourth and final installment next week. At the Center for Spiritual Living Sarasota, we're pleased to support you with prayer, inspiration, encouragement, and opportunities for virtual community and connection. And now it's time to share our offering that supports our ability to continue to be here for you. There are three easy ways to contribute. On your screen, you'll see our website, www.cslsarasota.com, where you can select the donate button, which allows you to contribute via PayPal or by credit card, or mail a check to our address shown there on our website, or you can arrange automatic contributions through your online banking. And now I invite you to take your virtual gift in your hand, placing it over your heart. Bless it as you share it and know this with me. My gift goes forth to heal, to bless, and to prosper. And the divine flow returns it to me multiplied abundantly. And now let us declare together our offering affirmation. The words are on your screen. I give thanks that I may share of my good my love, and my support. Thank you so much. Do you have a prayer request? I invite you to visit the website and click on the green prayer request button where you may seek prayer support for any intention you have or challenge you may be facing. We have five licensed spiritual practitioners, Ron Frost, Jim Grove, Nicole Leeds, Sean Scanlon, and me, who are available to know and affirm spiritual truth with and for you. Our practitioners are also available by appointment for one hour spiritual coaching sessions. These sessions offer the opportunity to explore a deeper understanding and practical application of the spiritual truth in the midst of your problem or challenging issue. For more information, check out their page at our website by selecting the staff tab on the left. Also on our website, you can sign up to receive our weekly email newsletter or check out our Facebook page posts about upcoming events and find past services and videos on our YouTube channel. And are you looking for a way to connect with this community between Sundays? Then please join us for our Spiritual Living Circle, which meets via Zoom on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Each week, we have a lively discussion hour that is facilitated by licensed spiritual practitioner, Jim Grove, about an article from this month's Science of Mind magazine. The article being discussed this week is entitled Grief, A Call for Care. If you are not currently on the email list, please drop Jim a note at the address shown here, and he will send you the Zoom link, article and discussion guide. These circles are always open to newcomers and to all at no charge. It's a great week, way to have a midweek faith lift. Hope to see you there. And now as we conclude our sacred time together, let us do so with the intention to live in light, love, health, 
and perfect peace. I invite you to listen or join in singing our closing song, Let There Be Peace on Earth. Thank you so much for being with us. Take, let this be my song. 